Megalopolis is one of the most anticipated movie of this year and was released this week. Director of this movie is Francis Ford Coppola, who is the five-time Oscar-winning director. Time to stop! Go. Francis Ford Coppola is a writer, director and producer, who has directed some of the masterpieces of the last century. Some of his movies, from The Conversation to One from the Heart, from The Godfather Trilogy to Apocalypse Now, left their mark on the history of cinema. Now, at the age of 84, he has a big movie costing $100 million. Therefore, we have a lot of reasons to be excited. But unfortunately, this movie was a disappointment for me. First, let's look at what Coppola is talking about. He describes his movie as a fable. The story takes place in a city called New Rome. But as far as we can see, this is already New York. As New Rome, we are actually watching a story parallel to the collapse of the Western Roman Empire. The main character is a very talented young man named Caesar, who is an artist, architect, designer, and also who can stop the time. Opposite him there is Mayor Franklin Cicero, who has the characteristics of local politicians we know and wants to keep power in his hands at all times. When you pay attention to the names, you see that the characters' names are taken from some important Roman politicians. The main conflict of the movie is between these two, Caesar and Cicero. In between there is also the mayor's daughter, because mayor's daughter is in love with Caesar, but she has to establish a sensitive balance between her father's ambitions and Caesar's utopia. But in fact, apart from the conflict of these two characters, evil forces are also at play. From an evil media member to the dishonest coup planner Claudio, here, the director tells a fable, with reference to the collapse of the Western Roman Empire, right down to the character names. There are many sayings sprinkled throughout this fable. A lesson can be learned from these words. Coppola keeps the audience busy with some concepts throughout the movie, such as destiny, consciousness, courage, time. Time is especially important. Coppola's movie is asking a question, which is, will the new Rome collapse or meet the new horizons? Is this way we're living the only one that's available to us? My plan is a city that people can dream about. Megalopolis. The movie is 2 hours 18 minutes. From greedy companies to political intrigues, from the construction of utopia to the danger of dystopia, world history, literary works, philosophical speculations, there is no stop that Coppola doesn't visit. His tone is quite messy. To put it simply, his rhythm is off, as if he shot a TV series and summarized it. While moving among the upper classes, the camera occasionally glances at the poor, immigrants and those who are discriminated. But this is a movie that overwhelms the audience and is also expensive and looks like fancy. Yes, it is astonishing frame by frame. But it is also intoxicating with the visual effects that line up one after the other, as if it were a show. As if in a rush, Coppola pours all his 84 years of intellectual knowledge onto us. The truth is, what emerges is a movie that doesn't suit the master. It was as if he wanted to shoot a magnificent and flashy movie like a testament movie. He brought together a number of Hollywood's big actors, starting from those who were his relatives. Unfortunately, they are also included in a very wasteful way. In my opinion, it's unnecessary to talk about any actor in particular, because there is no impressive performance in the movie. Look, don't think I am being harsh. Coppola is of course a great director. He masters all the arts, from shadow of place to architecture, and he can combine all these arts very well in a movie. However, as someone like me, who has watched his masterpieces many times, I see that his chemistry with digital cinema is not matching at this point. I don't know if it was necessary for the master Coppola to shoot a movie with so many digital tricks. It's obvious he wanted it very much. It really takes courage for him to undertake this task with such a large budget that he finances. But when I think of Coppola, I remember the great director whom I know with his movies that left their mark on the 20th century and the history of cinema, and who marked the change of the US cinema in 1970s. 
and I want to express once again that I felt a real disappointment when I thought about those works while watching this movie. Well, maybe someone who has met Coppola for the first time might be impressed by watching this movie. Megalopolis will undoubtedly be one of the most discussed movies of this year. There's still so much to accomplish, but is there time? Go.